and 93 upper block disassembly and assembly, you will need the following tools. The SRT6, the SS93 metal tweezers, angled tweezers, a dental pick, a Torx driver with a Torx plus size 6 bit, and a Torx plus driver size 6. Cover all windows with a plastic film. Ensure that no battery is inserted before going on. Pry open the sub display window with the SRT6. Do not use it again. Undo the screw and remove it. Slide along the sides of the flip C cover assembly and open the two clips as shown. Remove the flip C cover assembly. Protect the sub-display with a plastic film. Carefully lever up the flex connector of the display. Gently unlock the snaps of the sub-display. Unscrew the four Torx Plus size 6 screws and remove them. Unlock the plastic hooks of the flip frame. Remove the flip frame. Remove the magnet. Lift out the glued in IHF slim. Carefully lever up the CIF camera flex connector. Remove the CIF camera. Lever up the flip PWB module. Now the glued in ear piece can be removed easily. Open this flex connector evenly. Gently lever up the connector with the dental pick. Undo both screws and remove them. Open the assembly and remove the protection film. Push out the flip A cover together with the main display.
protect the display with the plastic film. Carefully lever out the flip soft key mat. Remove the IR window. Pull out the flip corner bumper. Mind the cables while removing the detector holder with tweezer. Use the angled tweezers for levering out the connector, as shown. Unscrew both torque size 6 screws and discard them. Always use new screws when reassembling. Carefully separate the parts, mind the switch of the flip PWB module. Peel off the flip frame adhesive tape with tweezers. Ensure that no residues remain. Gently peel up the glued in flip PWB module. Release the latches of the capture key cover module. Use the SS93 to unlock call snaps. Now the capture key cover module can be removed easily. Remove the capture key button, the spring, and the zoom key lever. Now the disassembly procedure is complete. Assembly. Align the zoom key lever into the capture key cover module, as shown. Place the spring and the capture key button. Set the recess of the zoom key lever in position shown. Position the capture key cover module and press it down quickly. Check the functionality of the zoom key lever before continuing. 
Now push the cover into the correct position. Use new adhesives before placing the flip PWB module. Align the flip PWB module to the guides and smooth it down evenly. Hold the switch in position shown, and align the hinge over the flip B cover. Insert two new screws. Fit the torque size 6 bit and set a torque of 18.5 newton centimeters. Apply the torque to both screws. Place the switch in position shown. Slot the smaller connector through the flip B cover. Close the connector while pushing from behind the flip PWB module. Place the detector holder. Insert the flip corner bumper. and the IR window. Carefully place the flip soft key mat. The snaps are very delicate and can break easily. Remove the protection film from the main display. Slot the flex foil through the flip B cover. Fit the flip A cover assembly beginning from the bottom side. Click all snaps into their places. Close the assembly. Insert both screws. Change the torque to 20 newton centimeters. To prevent destroying the plastic threads, turn the screws left first, then tighten them with the correct torque. Check if there is no gap remaining between flip A cover AC and flip B cover. Close the connectors. Always use a new gasket when replacing the airpiece.
Mind the alignment tap of the airpiece. Gently fit the flip PWB module. Insert the CIF camera, close the connector, stick a new flip frame adhesive tape, smooth it down evenly and remove the protection film. Use a new gasket when replacing the IHF speaker. Mind the spring contacts while handling the IHF speaker. Note the alignment tap while positioning the IHF speaker. Insert the magnet. Place the flip frame. Mind the correct positioning. Insert the screws. Set the correct torque. Tighten the four screws. Insert the sub-display. Close the connector. Place the flip C cover, beginning from the top. Push it down evenly. Insert the screw. Tighten it with the correct torque. Cover the main display with a plastic film. Place a new sub-display window, smooth it down evenly. The upper block assembly is now completed.